so at the University of Maryland, we specialize in using whole body CT to evaluate our polytrauma patients. So with all of those images, we typically get the sagittal and coronal reformats. However, imagine patients having trauma involving the head, the neck, and the whole body. So a lot of the post-processing we use is for vascular injuries, as well as craniofacial injuries using 3D reconstruction. helps us improve efficiency um, because we get the images faster on Singovia and as well as it's already set up especially with the vascular um, protocol with the neck including the cervical vessels that we can rapidly look at those, we can evaluate the vertebral arteries and in addition to getting those curved MPRs or multiplanar reformats we also get 3Ds of the head, face and neck. Definitely for us, um, we have a lot of traumatic brain injuries and well, again, involving injuries to the vessels in the neck. We have both a big mix of penetrating and blunt trauma that clearly involve craniofacial trauma. Uh, it also helps because again, we already have the workflow set up from our CT scanner to flow to single BS. So this is already pre-processed so that we again can evaluate uh, pulmonary flow to the lungs. We can evaluate for potential bowel injuries using the iodine mapping as well.